Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week, SUNY Plattsburgh students are returning for the spring semester, which with the pandemic will include weekly COVID-19 tests for students living both on and off campus. Students have been moving back into their dorms this week with new COVID safety measures in place, including wearing masks even when social distancing. And every student will be required to test negative for COVID before they can attend any classes in person. Many lined up this week to get tested before classes begin on Monday. The other requirement is that we're going to be testing everybody every week for the remainder of the semester. And it's mandatory to participate. So you'll have to come to testing at your prescribed time, whether you're a student, a faculty member, a staff member, or even the president. So we'll all be getting tested here on campus every week until the end of the semester. The most important piece to our entire reopening has been testing, testing, testing. President Agnetti mentioned it. We are requiring as a system now, weekly testing of every student, faculty, and staff on our campuses. So if you come to campus, you use a service, you get tested. If you live on campus, you get tested. If you work in the library, you get tested. That is the way we could manage the virus. Chancellor Malatris says the saliva swab tests are so effective, they can even detect asymptomatic cases. Those are the cases we want to know about. Symptomatic folks, there's many tests. The asymptomatic spread, especially on a college campus, is the matter of life and death. Throughout the fall, most students, faculty, and staff were diligent about getting tested. Now with the weekly test, the chancellor says he is hopeful everyone will comply. We have repercussions though if you don't. For students, you get your cards turned off in some campuses, right? You can't key in and out of your buildings. That's a good motivator for getting tested. Or you can't show up for class. That's a good motivator for not for getting tested. And hopefully with doing more testing, we can do more on campus activities. I think our students have done a phenomenal job, but this has been a really isolating experience. This is really difficult to live on a college campus in a dormitory room by yourself, being mostly online with some in person. That type of existence is very difficult. They deserve a lot of credit for their resilience and working through this. But by testing everybody every week now, we're hoping as the warmer months come, we can do more on-campus activities by monitoring the spread. With the vaccine, plus the testing, we think we can get there. We're hopeful about things like commencement. We don't think we're going to have massive in-person commencements, but not just simply virtual commencements, but it's up to us. It's up to us to keep our positivity rate low. It's up to us to keep testing. Malatra says even those who get vaccinated will still have to get tested every week. And SUNY is one of only a few major university systems nationwide to resume in-person classes.